Okay, in this lesson, we're going to model our first sequential game. The story of the game is as follows. They have two firms, let's call them Google and Apple. And the environment here is that Google is debating whether or not to enter a market that Apple already has control of. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is we have Google. We'll put a little G here for Google and they could choose either to enter the market or not. So we'll put a little out here, means they're not in the market, and in, and they are in the market. Okay, let's see what happens if Google chooses not to enter the market. Put a little, so after Google makes its choice, Apple needs to make a choice. We'll put a little A here for Apple. And what Apple does is it chooses its pricing strategy. It can either be high or it could be low. Now this is of course a simplification, but nonetheless it gets the point across. So now what we want to say is, what are the payoffs when Google doesn't enter the market and Apple chooses a high price? Well if Google doesn't enter the market, they're not getting any payoff. So in both cases, Google gets zero. If Apple chooses a high price, well they get four because they have a monopoly, so they'll charge a higher price. If they charge a low price, they'll get say negative one. Okay, good. And just so we know, Google is always the top payoff. Apple is always the second one. So I'll do this. I'll put it in brackets or parentheses, and I'll also put these in parentheses. You sometimes see this. Okay, so now if Google chooses to enter the market, Apple still has to make the same decision, but now the payoffs are different. If Apple chooses a high price, it'll only get a payoff of two because it'll split the market with Google, who is also getting a high price, who would also charge a high price. So the payoff to Apple and Google would both be two. However, if Apple chooses a low price, it's essentially entering a price war with Google, and they'll both get negative one. Now yeah, we'll say we'll they'll get negative two. Price wars are bad for companies. Okay, so this fully represents the game. These here are called decision nodes. This is Google's decision node. This and this are Apple's decision nodes. Now before we talk about solving this game, let's write out the strategies. So what is a strategy for Google? Remember, a strategy specifies what a player would do at each of its decision nodes. Well, Google only has one decision node, so strategy for Google, we'll, we'll call it SG, is either in or out. How about the strategy for Apple? I'm going to write this down here because we're going to need some room. So remember, Apple has to specify what it would do at each of its decision nodes. So Apple's strategy is of the form if Google plays out, then do something. If Google plays in, then do something. Okay, so what are the different strategies? So if Google plays out, Apple can play a high price. And if Google plays in, Apple can play a high price. So this, HH, is one strategy. If Google plays out, charge a high price. If Google plays in, charge a high price. Another strategy can be this, HL. So I'm, I'm writing it like this so I don't have to keep writing if out, if in. But the interpretation now is if Google plays out, Apple plays a high price. If Google plays in, Apple plays a low price. Okay, and then of course we have the strategy LH. If Google plays out, Apple charges a low price. If Google plays in, Apple charges a high price. And of course, the strategy LL. If Google plays out, Apple charges a low price. And if Google plays in, Apple also charges a low price. So we see in this case, 
Google has two strategies, but Apple has strategy one, two, three, and four. So this is the full definition of the game. The tree here, this tree, the game tree we can call it, the game tree, gives the sequence of moves, Google first, then Apple, lists the actions, which are not the same as the strategies in this case, because Apple's action is either to charge a high price or a low price, but remember its strategy is this kind of if-then statement. So this game tree gives the order of moves, the actions, and of course, the payoffs. And I forgot to label this, we'll call this SA, the strategy for Apple. Okay, or the strategy space for Apple actually. In the next lesson, we're actually gonna learn how to solve this game using the Nash Equilibrium solution concept, and then we're gonna show why maybe the Nash Equilibrium is insufficient for these types of games. Stay tuned.